Is this your buddy? I was about to ask you if you were here alone. And then this fucking guy came sauntering in. Just shorts and a fucking beanie. Hoodie and facial hair that says, I don't care and I'm also high. Which is kind of what my facial hair says, to be honest with you. I love shorts for the evening. Were you, actually, I've never asked this. Were you in pants during the day? <laughs> and you decide, I could get out of these and get ready to go out. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's so funny. All day he's just hanging out in a tuxedo, watching the XFL. And he's like, all right, it's time for a big night out. <laughs> so fun. You vaping? Vaping? Vapor? Can you do any tricks? I, think, I mean, I figure if you're addicted, you might as well, you know, learn a couple tricks. What's in the vapor? You kind of—is it nicotine or is it meth? What are you trying to get off of? What flavor are you sucking on? Zombie snot. What is it? Zombie snot. Zombie snot. Cool. Cool, man. That's pretty cool. But I have to ask you, are any of you recreational meth users? No, and I really want to, I, I know that it's kind of like cocaine and stuff where you can't openly be like, it's like heroin. No one's like, yeah, I do a little heroin, or, you know. But like, do you guys know anybody who will just do meth on the weekends? No, it's one or the other? You're just either barely have teeth and you're dying soon or you don't do math. There's no sliding scale. Just really, this guy up front who looks like he's definitely never done math. You have a look I would describe as not done math. And I'm not sure you've done cocaine. Have you ever done cocaine? Ah! He's like, this is a collared button-down shirt, isn't it? <laughs> is this your boy? Th those are your boys? And then you, really? <laughs> oh, he's not their dad? Oh, no shit. <laughs> are you guys married? Yeah, 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 he loves you with all his heart. All of his heart. Every time he introduces these two kids. And it's like, these are my stepsons. Rufus and Ricketts. He's almost a doctor of pharmacy. He's almost a doctor of pharmacy. <gasps> That's like being a real doctor. <laughs> Except you can get people <laughs> opioids. <laughs> Great. So what she just did was brag. She's like, he's going to make quite a bit of money in the black market. <laughs> That's single. so exciting. He's single? Oh, I thought you were telling me that. Then she went like this. She was like, let everybody know he's single, which is how all guys get pussy, is their mom goes, he's single and he can get opioids. <laughs> hey, everybody! He's almost a doctor of pharmacy! <laughs> get in there while you still can. This is good. Do you feel good about how the show's going so far? You could meet your wife here tonight. Wouldn't that be amazing? And what about him? You didn't, you got nothing to say about him. Did you guys see that? She like skipped right past him. And it's like, he's, he, move. He, get, put your hoodie over your face. Get it as far down as you can and push back. And I told you to, I told you to wear those shorts in case you mess your pants. It'll just fall out of the bottom. But get, scoot back. This one is almost a doctor of pharmacy. What about this little fella? He works for the moving company. He quit school and he works for the moving company. Well, he's, he's moving on up. There's nowhere to go but up. He drives a Mercedes? 
<laughs> yeah, he, he works at the moving company. <laughs> There's no way that he is already a doctor of pharmacy, but what he sells at his pharmacy is meth. <laughs> I had a great day at the moving company, and I bought a Mercedes. You did? Yeah, we were moving a ton of stuff today. I must have moved stuff all day. <laughs> you want to see my new gun? <laughs> well, I'm proud of you, okay? You don't have to be a... You don't have to almost... Not yet quite... Be a doctor of pharmacy. You can be your own man. You can move forward. You can move as much meth on the street as you possibly can. But don't touch your brother's face again or I'll kick you out of the show. <laughs> Look at me, I'm fucking serious, okay? That guy's gonna give me opioids in two and a half years. <laughs> what do you got? Look at the two of you. Something's going on over there. It yeah, it's the kind of guy who looks in the mirror when he's having sex. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He'll take a peek. He's not looking the whole time. But he's into it, you know, and then he'll sneak a pig. Uh, that's all. Just a real quick kind of. See that at the end? He, he, he got caught. He's like, oh, sorry, babe, sorry. I mean, they're out there. There are guys that do that. I don't think you do it, necessarily. You look up at Jesus Christ? Oh, the ceiling. He <laughs> said so he looks at the ceiling, because you went like this. He goes, I go, I don't think you're looking there. He goes, oh, no. I'm just looking at God, saying, I'm trying to make another one for you, buddy. That's, that's the only reason I'm in here, all right? It's to procreate. Do you guys drink White Claw? No, you don't? No? Yeah, yeah some people. You, you are or you have? No, I have. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I like your whole attitude. She's like, I have. <laughs> you, you have or you do? No, I have. Yeah, I do. If that's all that there is, I'll drink it. If that's all there is, you'll drink it. There's, I love that the option is not on the table of not drinking. Isn't that kind of cool? I'm like that, too. It's like, all you have is White Claw? Yeah. Ah, shit. What's wrong? I don't like White Claw. Okay, well, you can also not drink. What the fuck did you just say to me? Pop me a couple mangoes and shut that face hole. I'm trying to get drunk. My fucking guy, my husband smokes zombie snot, all right? You think I'm going to not drink? You got another thing coming, lady! It's never occurred to me that it's true that there is the option of not drinking at all. <laughs> not for her. Do you know her? Yeah. She's your sister. Wow, this is really a family affair. Oh my God. Yeah, and you've just been roped into this. How do you feel about it? It's all right. That's not what I would have said <laughs> if I was in your position. Because you don't have to be honest with me at all. You're not gonna go home and when she's like, what the fuck did that mean? It's all right. It's all right. I know that one of my, my sons is gonna be able to get us drugs and the other one's trying to be a fucking pharmacist, okay? Okay? But you think all of this is just all right? Who drinks the least? It's you? Wow, really? If I was in a game show, I just would have lost like $1,000. <laughs> she just has this vibe of like, I showed up drunk on white wine and nobody knows. That's where my tolerance is. <laughs> What's your name, Zombie Snot? What is it? Randy. Randy. That's a Missouri name. <laughs> Don't you guys think Randy's a great Missouri? Because Randy's a good name in general, but Randy with a Missouri is like Randy. It's just good. Do you have a truck? Yeah. Yeah. 
You better. You got a Nike hoodie on and fucking snakeskin cowboy boots, I think. That's ostrich. Oh. Um, a pretentious hillbilly. I've never seen... I've never really come into contact with one in the wild. I've always heard about them. Hey, that's ostrich skin right there. I'm not going to ask you any questions about your truck, because then I'll really get my ass handed to me. Andy, I'm trying to think if there's a better Missouri... Like, name. Billy. What is it? Billy? I still think Billy's uh, not... I think Randy's better. Randy. Billy. Billy's just good because it's in the word hillbilly. I, I have to stop blowing my tongue out. No, it's okay. You guys can start a conversation now. They fucking... Once they were done with that, the whole family was like, wait, are there a lot of Randy Smiths at the doctor? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I'll call to make an appointment, and then he'll, like, have already called, but he won't tell me that. And I'm like, Randy, all you have to do is tell me when you... Oh, my God, he does the same thing. Did you guys remember I'm almost a pharmacist? <laughs> guys, I'm only, like, six years away from being a pharmacist. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to move your face into the fucking Mercedes. That's my impression of your family, I think. <laughs> Except all the while, while it's happening, this guy in the middle is like, it's all right. It's all right. Just bear down. They'll be out of the fucking house at some point. I'll have access to opioids. That's why I got in this in the first place. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> it's all right. Well, yeah, this is time for you to go and just rub your bare legs down with lotion and... <laughs> In your Mercedes. I'm sorry. I couldn't believe he made that. I know he's drunk, but he's, I, I will always have your back when he goes to push your face. I'm fucking... If he does that again, I'm going to fucking smash a goddamn glass over his head. Do you understand me? Because it's indicative of how he's treated you. Is he the older brother? Uh, younger. Younger. Well, then fucking stand up for yourself. <laughs> now I'm pissed at you. How about that? Have some fucking backbone. Hit him in the dick. You want me to get you a glass of water? You can pour it in his, on his shorts. Problem now. It'll probably have repercussions after the show. I can only protect you during the show. Is there anything you want me to make fun of him about? They live together. He's yeah, they live together. Good... I'm not really talking to you. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but I never... I didn't even look at you. I certainly wasn't like, hey, what do you guys think? But I, I didn't even look over at you. And then to Randy and Randy and fucking White Claw over here were like, I'll tell you, they live together, okay? Is there anything you want me to cut into them about? I mean, you got a real opportunity here. You basically have a guy who his specialty is making daughters feel uncomfortable about their fathers looking in the mirror during intercourse. So I'll get him. What do you think? Anything? Or do you feel bad for him? Don't, don't bully him into being mean. Anything. Anything I can just tease him about? God, you're such, a good, you're such a good older brother. In some ways, too good. And that's why he gets pushed around. Do you understand? So instead of treating him like a sweet, sweet boy who's so good, I, to, I know you're his aunt. That's why you're fucking failing, all right? You don't have to baby him like his mother has to. You have to give him the straight talk, the straight dope. Instead, you're out there getting shit flaced off fucking mango white claws with zombie snot out back, just having intercourse in the bed of his very nice truck with his ostrich condom that he won't stop using. And it's so expensive, he goes, honey, we gotta use it once or twice. Can't just use it once, they're $14 a condom. I know he's a good baby, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta stop being a good baby, you gotta be a bad boy. You gotta be a bad little boy. So I want you to stand up for yourself, okay? When he comes out here on the way back and he sits down, shut up. <laughs> Just push his face away from you. Okay. All right, you know what to do, right? So he'll sit down. And can I have a couple shots when you guys get a chance? That's way overdue. And I think about a bad, you're a bad guy. You're not a sweet little baby. 
You're a fucking badass. Look at your Justin Bieber haircut. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't give a shit, okay? You got on dark denim. I like what you're doing. Uh, can you introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah, I'm Natalie. Give it up for Natalie, everybody! <laughs> Natalie? Now tell me. Why don't you tell me, what do you think of this audience? Gosh, full into it. Hey, listen. Hey, that'll teach you to fuck with your older brother, all right? Good job, buddy. Hey, you all right? Great job. Okay, that's good. It's customary for me to take a shot with the person that I thought was sort of the winning audience member, okay? But there are so many, I don't even know what to do. You know what I mean? And now, I love this. Barbie, you already had your moment, okay? So we're here doing that. But I want to say, man, I really, really had a great time with you tonight. I think you might have learned something, okay? And I want you to have some more backbone, okay? And I want you to get your shit together. All right? But this goes to your brother. Here you go. The reason it goes to him, and what's your name? Is it Randy? Bree? Brady. 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 Brady, Randy, Billy. I like it. So, Brady, I want to say, when he pushed uh, Brady's head, Brady threw himself off and smashed some glasses. Because Brady wanted the attention, but also, I think in some ways, Brady was sort of saying, if you want to push my face, I'll fall on the floor for you. That's how much I love you, older brother. <laughs> so, in a strange way, here's to family. Springfield! Thank you so much! <laughs>